Welcome to another learning session on the PLCs. In today's session, we will see what are the different types of the PLC output cards available and commonly used. Before starting today's session, I would like you guys to please subscribe my channel and do check out tutorials on my channel regarding PLC programming. Mainly PLC output cards are divided into three types. Relay output, transistor output and trike output. One of the most common types of the PLC outputs available is the relay output. Existing of the relay as output makes it easier to connect with the external devices. A relay is a known polarized and typically it can switch either AC or DC currents. A relay is an electrical operated switch. When the PLC output signal turns on, currents start flowing through the coil of the relay and creates a magnetic field, which attracts a lever and changes the switch contacts. If you need to switch AC or DC voltage such as 24 volt DC or 110 AC or higher, you need to select a PLC output cord with the relays. Relay takes some time to close its contacts, so this means that the relay output cords are not suitable for high speed switching applications. Relay output cards are suitable to turn on small solenoid valves and the contactors, but with the larger loads and frequent switching, Relay contacts can get damaged or short circuit easily. A transistor output is a solid state device that handles small to medium amount of current. Most transistor outputs in our PLC can handle only small voltage up to 24 volt DC. When output signal of the PLC is give signal on the base of the transistor, it allows the current to flow from the collector to meter through the load. Transistor outputs can operate at high speed into several kilohertz depending upon the PLC model. Transistor output card can be used to send high speed pulse signals to stepper and servo drives. It can also be used to generate PWM signal for some applications. Unlike relay output cards, there are no moving contacts in it, which makes transistor output more reliable. If wired properly and installed as per Load current trading, the transistor output works fine for the lifetime. Drawback for the transistor is that it can only work with the DC currents, not with the AC currents. Secondly, it can handle only small currents and we cannot turn on big contactor coils and load directly with the transistor output. In order to drive the load with the higher currents, we have to install some relays with these transistors. Trike output can be used to control AC loads only. When the output signal of the PLC gives signal on the gate of the trike, the trike allows the current to flow from the terminal 1 to the terminal 2 and through the load. Trike output is faster in operation and has longer life than the relay output cards. Trike output cards are available to operate 24 volt AC to 22 volt AC depending upon the PLC model. Inductive loads have tendency to deliver back current when they turn on. This back current is like a voltage spike coming through the system. This could be dangerous to the output trikes. Typically, a diode, varistor or other snapper circuit should be used to protect the PLC output from any damage. I hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe my channel and till next video, take care and goodbye.